In this video, we're going to update the firmware on a wireless router and in this example, I'll be using a TP-Link Wi-Fi router. Updating firmware helps fix bugs, improve performance and protect your network from cyber attacks. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorials. Some routers, like ASUS, have an automatic update option that checks for new firmware on its own, but most routers don't. To update your router properly, you can do it from a phone app or over Wi-Fi. You need to connect your PC directly to the router using an Ethernet cable for a safe and stable update. As you can see, the TP-Link router is connected properly. The internet cable goes into the blue WAN port and the yellow LAN port is connected to my PC using an ethernet cable. The first thing we'll do is back up the router configuration just in case something goes wrong. To do that, open your web browser and access the router using its Wi-Fi IP address. You can find that address printed on a sticker at the bottom of your router. Once you log in to your wireless router's interface using the correct credentials, first note down the current firmware version. This will help you confirm later that the update was successful. Next, go to System Tools, then Backup and Restore, and click Backup. This will download a configuration file, so if anything goes wrong during the update, you can easily restore your router settings using this file. In the next step, We'll download the latest firmware from the router manufacturer's website. In our case, that's TP-Link. Go to the support section and then click on downloads. In the download center, choose type home, then select routers, and after that, all Wi-Fi routers. Finally, pick your exact model number. In our case, it's the TLWR840N. Now this is a critical step. You need to choose the correct hardware version and region for your router. Installing the wrong firmware version can cause serious issues. It might make your router unstable or even stop it from working completely. You can find both the region and hardware version printed on the sticker at the back of your router. In our case, it's EU version 6.2, so we'll select that and download the appropriate firmware. Next, before we continue with the firmware update, Unplug the internet cable from the router's WAN port. This is important because it prevents any interruptions or background activity during the update, which could corrupt the firmware and damage your router. Now extract the firmware file we just downloaded. Simply right-click on it and select Extract All. Once the extraction is complete, head back to your router's web page and log in using your router's IP address and password. Go to System Tools, then Firmware Upgrade and click on Choose File to select the firmware you just extracted. The firmware file should have a .bin extension. Select that file and then click on Upgrade. The update process will take a couple of minutes and your router will automatically reboot once it's done. During this process, do not power off your computer or the router. If the power goes out or the update gets interrupted, the firmware can become corrupted, which may cause your router to stop working completely or get stuck in a boot loop. So just wait patiently until it reboots on its own. Once the update process has finished, you'll see the router login page again. Log in using your admin password and verify the firmware version. As you can see, our router has been successfully updated to the latest version. By updating your router's firmware, you're also improving its security. New firmware often includes patches that fix vulnerabilities, making it much harder for hackers to exploit your network. And finally, to keep your router running faster and more stable, it's recommended to perform a factory reset after the update. This clears any leftover settings that might conflict with the new firmware. After the factory reset is complete, you lose access to your router's admin page. This is completely normal. You can easily log back in using the default credentials printed on the sticker at the back of your router. Once you access the default admin IP address, create a new password for your router's configuration page. From here, you can either use the quick setup option or restore your previous configuration. I recommend starting fresh with a manual setup, setting a strong password, and using WPA3 encryption if your router supports it. After everything's done, give your router a a quick reboot. This ensures you have a clean, 
secure and optimized connection. And that's it for this video. If this helped you out, hit that like button and subscribe for more practical tech tutorials. See you next time.